Have you ever noticed that when you are working on a project, taking on something new, doing your daily life, growing your business, and you try to control everything, you often feel kind of crappy in the process. <laughs> it's because when you try to control everything, it keeps you stuck. It's a non-flowing energy to try to be in control all the time. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. If it's your first time here, I'm Dr. Amanda Barrientes, the founder of NFA Coaching, the host of Max Potential Habits. This is your place to come each and every week for tips, tools, and inspirational interviews to help you optimize your habits so you can thrive in life and business. And this week I wanna talk about control, not only because it's something that a lot of my clients talk about, but it's something that I struggle with too, have struggled with in the past, and sometimes it still comes up for me in my daily life and in my business. Obviously, we are learning tools here to overcome things that keep us stuck so that we can get unstuck, get aligned, and get into empowered action, inspired action, do things that we love to do in our lives. And control is one of those that is paradoxical because we have the belief that if I'm in control, I'm in charge and things will happen more quickly, but it's really the opposite. What if you've been thinking incorrectly about it the whole time and when you really relax and drop into the law of detachment and practicing letting go, you could actually flow and magnetize what you want your way more quickly. It seems really counterintuitive because we wanna be in control. Control makes us feel safe, it makes us feel comfortable, it makes us feel like we are the masters of our reality. And I know I've said a lot of times here that we are the masters of our reality, but part of being the master of your reality is you letting go of needing to be in control of everything. The reason is because it eliminates when, when you let go and you relax and you decide that you're gonna detach from the outcomes and the timeline, it's you having faith in the universal flow. It's you having faith that the opportunities will come your way. It's you having faith that you can take strategic, inspired daily action and the results are gonna be even better than you could have imagined. But when you're in this place of hyper control, what if you control it so much that you close the door to opportunities that are trying to come your way that could make it happen more quickly, more easily, more joy-filled? So as I've learned to let go more and more, I get to step into flow. Sometimes I still get really stuck like yesterday and this morning when I just felt off. I woke up and I felt off all day long. So I started my day with two times the amount of meditation that I usually do because I knew I can't compensate in doing what I'm lacking in energy. So that means that if I tried to push really hard and force, I'm just gonna get frustrated. So I knew I gotta shift my energy in order to stop trying to control what's going on, let go, relax, I'm willing to let go type of mentality, right? So I did my meditation that way and it worked for a little while and then I felt in the force uh, of trying to control the details. So I'm working on this big project launch and it's taken a lot longer than I thought it was going to. And it keeps <laughs> bringing opportunities to me it, to help me let go, to help me release, to help me relax, to help me go, okay, it's all in flow. It's okay that it's not happening on my exact timeline. The learning curve is steeper than I thought and I, had to face that, right? Like I used to have the mantra my whole life, hell or high water, like I'm getting it done, hell or high water. But who wants to live that way, hell or high water? And it really, it's kind of what I would attract. It was like things would be stressful. I'd have to work my ass off all the time. I felt constantly like I needed to be in hyper control. And if things didn't go the way that I wanted them to, I'd be frustrated. It kept me stuck and it kept the cycle going. So the more that I've learned to surrender and detach, the more that I'm able to flow. So like yesterday, I can have a day where I just go, okay, like my body's doing crazy stuff. You know, I had like a stomach ache, which I don't usually get. I felt off energetically. I felt tired and I just let myself flow with it. I decided, okay, this, 
that the timeline that I had created isn't gonna happen the way that I wanted it to happen. And I'm willing to let go of my attachment to that because there must be something better on the other side than I that I haven't seen yet. So that's you being willing to step into letting go, having faith that it'll work, and allowing what's to come to come. It, it's hard to do, It's at least for me, it's been very hard to do because I do like I have been a hyper control person. <laughs> so if this is you, I totally get it. One thing I want you to remember is that our our career that we're creating, let's say it's your job or the career that you have as an entrepreneur or both, maybe you're in navigating two worlds, it's your it's you've got to be the one to decide the be do have model. So I, I always coach from the be do have model. Be it, when you are being present, being in joy, enjoying the journey, then you get to have all the things that you want because you're doing what it takes in an inspired way to get there. Most people put it the opposite way. They go like, oh, once I am successful, then I'll be happy. No, nope, it goes the other way. We've got to be happy, be joyful in order to manifest what we want. And so whenever I get stuck like that, I, I work to remember, I go, okay, I drop into my heart, I meditate, I relax, and I go, who do I wanna show up as today? Who do I wanna be in this business building journey? Because if it takes you 10 years, let's, let's say it takes you 10 years to get to a, a million dollar a year business, would you, would you be willing to put in 10 years of your time and energy to have a million dollar a year business that you love? I, I know I would, I know most people would. But if during those 10 years you're a jerk along the way or you're miserable and tired and resentful and frustrated all the time, then what's, why is it even worth it? So you've got to ask yourself, how can I be relaxed along this spiritual journey of building my business? Because every day is a spiritual journey and I see business as a spiritual quest. You get to make an impact in the world, doing what you love and make unlimited amounts of money because you're serving the world powerfully. Who do I wanna be on that journey? I want you to ask yourself that. And here's some action steps when you're stuck in control. This is what I did yesterday and it was awesome. <laughs> I remembered the be, do, have model. I thought, okay, who do I wanna be when I'm facing, you know, my physical body felt off, my energetic body felt off, my emotional system felt off. I'm like, okay, who am I gonna show up as right now? I let myself lay down extra. I did extra meditation. When I started getting stuck and frustrated, I stopped and I took care of myself because it's just one day. I let go of the control and I trusted, okay, this project will get done when it gets done. And then I, and I meditated. So I, I remembered the be, do, have model. I meditated extra. I don't care if it's five minutes or five breaths that you do. Just focus on your breath, get regrounded, reconnect with yourself. And then I used my mantra. I am willing to trust and let go of being in control. And you can use this mantra in a lot of different ways. You can just say, I am willing to let go of blank. Right? I'm willing to let go of the need to be in control. I'm willing to let go of my timeline. I'm willing to let go of my lack of faith. I'm willing to drop into my heart and see what I need right now. I'm willing to let my business grow in a, in a more balanced, flowing way. I'm willing, do you see, the, see how it's going? So practice the I am willing to let go of, or I'm willing to trust and let go. I used this all day yesterday. And I just dropped into that state of like, okay, the stuckness is happening because I'm trying to be in control of this timeline. And as it makes me frustrated, it's my job to get realigned and let go, step into faith. And then do something different to shift your energy. So I want you to think about doing something that brings you more joy or relaxation or peace. It could be, I, I laid down and I watched TV, <laughs> which I almost never do, especially during a work day. I laid down and I watched comedy. I was like, okay, I gotta laugh. I gotta shift my energy. Then my daughter came over and we ate together and like I took these breaks during the day. Then I hung out at night and usually I would keep working after she left and I just said, you know what? I'm laying on the couch with a blanket and I'm watching TV and it was awesome and I needed it. And then I got a really great night of sleep and my energy shifted and I woke up today inspired, clear, connected. I still had a little bit of residual stuckness with <laughs> my camera and I had to record this twice, which just never happens. But here I am smiling here for you. You got this. 
So try these tips out. I'll be here next week. I hope you have an incredible Max Potential week where you thrive and feel alive. Thanks so much for listening to this episode of the Max Potential Habits Podcast. If you're liking what you've heard, it would be so incredibly awesome if you would subscribe to the channel and leave a five-star rating and a written review. This helps me help more people while we grow our NFA community so we can rock it out together. For Max Potential Habits resources, go to nfacoaching.com where you can access all of my resources. There's free ebooks, PDF checklists, a journal template, a business mindset meditation kit, and so much more. Plus, links to NFA Coaching on Instagram, YouTube, LinkedIn, and Facebook. And if you're super serious about up-leveling, there's also a link to schedule a free consult to work with me in group or one-on-one coaching. Until next time, I hope you have a Max Potential Habits Day where you get inspired to do whatever it takes to transform into the most empowered version of yourself so you can lead a rich, thriving, kick-ass life and business.